Hello everyone, I am Rohit and welcome to my YouTube channel AI Era. So guys, today in this particular video, I am going to discuss with you dictionary. But before going to start, I would like to tell you that I am also created a videos on a pandas library as well as on numpy library. Along with both this library, I am also explain various tool used for a data visualization in a data visualization playlist. Also, this particular video belong to a python playlist. The python playlist consists of why should learn a python, how to how to install a python in your computer. So along with this basic question, I am also cover some basic concept this library. So please check a python playlist as well as other playlist on my channel and do subscribe my youtube channel that is AI era. So without doing any delay, let's jump into Jupyter Notebook and let's get explore the dictionary. So guys, here I am in my Jupyter Notebook and you can see that the heading as a dictionary. Basically, dictionaries are unordered mapping for a storing object. Previously, we saw how we store object in an order sequence. Dictionary use keys value pairing instead. This key value pair allows user to quickly grab object without needing to know an index location. Dictionaries are used curly braces and a colons to signify the keys and their associated rules. So, the highlighted text shows that the pattern of my dictionaries that it, it uses a curly braces and a colon and it has a keys and value pair. So, let's create a dictionary. For creating a dictionary, just take a simple example of a shop and create a list of various items using a dictionary. So I just name as a price underscore lookup is equal to and all my item in the curly braces. So first I have to mention my keys. So basically I have a fruit shop apple for 2.99 rupees. The next is mango, which is of five rupees, and the last one is an orange. The orange is my key, and I have to mention a value. The value of orange it's 4 rupees so to execute this particular cell i have to press and shift it so to see a dictionaries so i have to print out the surprise lookup and to see keys and value i just have to press and shift enter so you can see over here it will shows me my prize lookup dictionary that is apple which having a price of 2.99 rupees mango which is having a price of 5 rupees and orange of 4 rupees so the next procedure is i want to add uh, another key and a value pair that is i want to add a lemon as a key and the value of my lemon is a 2.55 rupees so how can i add this so therefore i just have to write a price underscore look up after that a square bracket and and in square bracket i have to mention my key that is lemon and outside of the square bracket i have to give a is equal to sign and i have to mention my value that is 2.55 rupees and i have to press and shift enter so to get overall view whether it get add in my previously created dictionaries or not so therefore i have to print out a whole dictionary that is price lookup and you can see over here at last the lemon is add in my previously created dictionary that is price lookup so the same method is to use to overwrite in the dictionary so let's take an example after a few days my apple price it goes high and shoot up to a 4 rupees so i just have to simple write a price lookup and then in square bracket 
I just have to write my key that is apple then I have to mention my values that is now its price is 4 rupees and to get a bigger picture I just have to print out my dictionary that is price lookup So here you can see that, that now my apple price is a 4 rupees. So for overwriting and to add a new element in previously existing dictionaries, we can use a same method. So if I want to grab uh, only keys in my dictionary, then I just have to write price lookup dot keys circular braces and to execute this cell I have to press and shift enter and it will shows me all the keys are present in my dictionary. The next step is to see the all the values are present in my dictionary therefore I just have to write a values instead of keys and I have to press and shift enter so you can see over here it will show me all the values that are present in my dictionary. If I want to grab all the items that are present in my dictionary, so instead of values or in key, I just have to write items and it will show me all the items that are present in my dictionary. So this is all about a dictionary. So if you like this particular video, please like it, share with your friend and do subscribe my YouTube channel that is AI Era. If you feel anything wrong or if you have any suggestions, then please comment it out your suggestion in comment box. Thank you one and all.